explain it, Bevin has changed, just know I'm just like you. Hey what's up guys, it's Crave here, and here today I'm bringing you a Twixter tutorial on how to get the proper clean settings for the smoothest Twixter possible. Now here on After Effects, you're gonna get your clip, drag your clip right in to After Effects. Click your clip, drag it onto this composition wheel, and this will make its own composition, which will make it its own frame rate and have the same length as the original clip. So here, you're gonna go to your uh, composition wheel, right click it and press composition settings, and you're gonna change your width to 1280, and then you're gonna click the star, and this will represent as times 1.25, and press OK. Now here, you're gonna need motion tile for this. If you don't have motion tile, um, uh, find it around YouTube. It's not that hard to download. It's usually a plugin if you don't have that. So go ahead and find that if you don't have it. And basically, the best way to find an effect, I usually go to this effects and presets box. It's the fastest way I find effects. So I go here, I type in motion tile, and then you, and then just drag it onto your clip. Now you're going to change your output width to 125 and then same with the output height to 125 and you're going to change and you're going to check in mirror edges. Now here there's two separate ways to do this. I'm going to show you the other method, but I'm going to show you this first method which you can do to take off these edges. You're going to go to your composition settings and then you're going to change the width back to 1280 by 720p. But I like making a new composition and doing this so I can actually add Twixer Pro without disabling the other effect because that usually happens when when I add Twixter Pro onto the clip so I'm gonna change the duration to 24 so extend it so Twixter has some time and it won't end the clip too short or too long and then make sure um, log aspect ratio is checked in and you changed your width back to 1280 by 720p and then you're gonna and then you're gonna drag in your tri triple heady or whatever you have as a clip composition onto your new composition and now as you can see the mirror edges are gone unless if you scale it back to um, a smaller scale um, it should reappear okay and then now let's add the main effect, Twixter Pro. So you're gonna go down to your effect, and then you're gonna go to Revision Plugins, and then you're gonna go down to Twixter Pro. And then here you're gonna change your frame rate to whatever whatever frame rate you have. I have 59.7. It's a weird frame rate. I n I don't know. I never used this frame rate before, but it's what the clip is, and it usually when you use the frame rate of the clip, you get the best outcome, Twixter as possible. And then you're gonna make, do nothing here. Make sure plenty of me memory. You're gonna check in catch last motion. And then here you're gonna go to your frame interrupt, and you're gonna change it to motion weight blend. And then you're gonna go down to your warping and make sure it's on forward. And here on main BG layer settings, you're gonna change your main BG sensitivity down to 60. And basically do that same to FG1 through FG3 okay once you've done with that let's go down to our clip click on the down arrow and then you're gonna go to your effects Twixter Pro and output control now here let's go to our um, part where, where we want to add the Twixter in so a common place where people use Twixter in their edits is when they're zooming in and zooming out. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do both. So you're going to find a spot where it's not moving. And this is the common place that editors use move, usually use is when the gun is zooming in. Because it's the best way. There's not much movement. The guy's not moving at all. And it, it has less movement and it has the smoothest um Twixter capability um, possible and then after that you're gonna go to the spot where he's about to zoom in and then you're gonna click on your time stopwatch where which I just recently clicked 
and then you're gonna go forward four frames one two three four and then here you're gonna change your speed on one through ten I like using one through five but it's basically up on what you like the most I like using one through five like I said but here today I'm bringing you one because I like it really slow when it, when it zooms in because I like that really smooth zoom in effect and now this comes in common like a lot when the clip is not moving it's just like it's at a standstill and to fix this problem you can just move your keyframes to back or forward and then find a spot where your clip moves again so let's say right there see so your clips moving so I'm gonna put it right there and then I'm gonna stop it at four seconds because half a second is plenty to add twixter in and then you're gonna keyframe it again on this keyframe button and then you're gonna go forward four frames again two three four okay and then you're gonna change your speed back to 100 there you go now this is the smoothest twixter like I've experimented with plenty and this is like the smoothest outcome I've I usually get and if you have like any other methods feel free to comment and I'll try it out and then I'll probably make a new video showing how to do that and I'll, I'll probably give credit to you so if you have any other methods show me that and then I'm gonna show you how to do, do the zoom out twixter so basically right after he shoots so like right there and then you're gonna click on your keyframe speed and um, basically what this does it tells After Effects that he, that you want Twixter speed to be at 100% till at this point and then here you're gonna go forward four frames two three four and then change the speed I like the zoom out to be th uh, um three that's my personal speed but it's up to you and then watch it well, I like putting the Twixter dur duration to half a second through one second. So I'm gonna stop right there. Go to the speed and then go forward four frames, two, three, four. And then change the speed back to 100. So yeah, basically that's it. That's my cover on how to get the smoothest Twixter as possible and how to use it properly on clips and uh, in my next tutorial I'm gonna be covering how to sync it with After Effects um, with a song and hopefully you guys get an update for that as for my setup video I'm gonna post that later on and yeah basically that's it hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial hopefully it helps you out hopefully see some positive comments out there I'm out peace Shit all day, S-Pen, brand new kicks while you shopping at a Payless.